This is Mike Prevat. You just typed in how to build a house. Hey, um, I'm going to be honest with you. That's a, that's a heck of a job, okay? If you've never built a house before, you're typing this in, you don't want to go that route. You want to have professionals do it. Because I'll tell you what you got to do. You got to go down. You got to get blueprint, blueprints drawn up. Um, you know, you got to know what the hell you want to start with. You got to know where you want all the rooms at, how many bathrooms, um, one, two story, split level, basement, whatever. You need to know what you want. Then you're going to need to go down and get some blueprints drawn up. Then you got to go get with a, a um, well, that, you got to get with the architect. He's going to draw the prints up. You got to go down to the county and city and um, start pulling some permits. Uh, you're going to need to find a, a, uh, you know, you can do it yourself, and then you can act like, act as the general contractor, and then hire out the subs. Um, unless you're going to do it all yourself, but I don't think you're going to do that. That's you. It'll take you forever to build a house. You need people that know what they're doing. But you can act as a general contractor. Okay, you just you know, you just kind of oversee everything. Get what, that way, you know what you're getting, and you know what money's going out. Um, so once you got your permits and all drawn down, and you start going towards, you're going to need a, like a uh, foundation. You need foundation or a slab. You need that contractor. I'd say, I would say get at least three estimates for you know every trade you do get at least three estimates. Uh, once you get that there, you got your concrete and everything. You need plumbing. You need electrical. Um, you're going to need framing and trim carpenter uh painter if i said painter sheetrock people um hvac guys uh man roofer <laughs> there's a lot y'all landscaper unless you're gonna do your own landscaping but you know what instead of doing all that i'm gonna tell you what i did i went ahead and i hired it all out okay I just said, okay, this is the house I want. Bam. I want you to go and start start building this thing. So I hired a general contractor that I true, that I um, I really uh, trusted because I done some research uh, for good contractors around in my area and um, got reviews on them. And then I, I picked the one that I, I didn't pick the lowest one. I went kind of mid-range out of three. So I went with the middle one. <laughs> Uh, one that I could talk to, and I felt like they would, would you know, talk to me and do what I wanted if I had changes, you know, because I let them know, hey, I might change my mind, and you're going to need to, you know, be able to work with me without getting all mad and wanting to, you know, charge me a bunch of money for some stuff. I realize change orders do cost money, but, you know, you ain't going to rape me here. We're going we're gonna to do it, and we're going to do it right. Um, so I picked the guy that I really trusted, the contractor. Um, so... I hope that helped. You know, it gives you a little bit of guideline of what's involved and what you need to do. Uh, but there's a lot. There's a lot to do. So, anyway, um, what I I was able to kind of stay on top of things because I have an online business that allows me to work from home, and um, it's serving me really well. So, I would suggest if you would, if you're interested at all in an online business working from home making generating income every week income income love it um and gives you the time to be able to stay and supervise some of these projects that you got going on hey go on over to www.cashinyourfuture.com check that out see if it's what something that you think you can you know be interested in um and you know go from there but i hope i've helped and i hope to see you soon. Maybe we'll work together sometime. Thank you.